Hey, what's up guys? My name's Slacker. I'm going to be showing you how to turn a randomly generated dungeon into a dynamically lit dungeon on roll 20. For this video, I'll be using Donjon to generate my dungeon. Um, you also need some kind of image manipulation program such as GIMP. Might be possible in Photoshop, but I'm not familiar with Photoshop. Um, you also need a Roll20 subscription to actually have access to the dynamic lighting functionality of Roll20. And uh, last thing that you'll need, and the first step that we'll do is the API script walls. So to install the API script, there's a ton of scripts for Roll20. I recommend you look through them and find ones that are suitable for your game. But to access them, you just go to settings here on your game page, uh, go down to API scripts, and right here we'll type in walls, uh, click on that, so it tells you a bunch of info on it, um, you can feel free to read through that uh, as you follow along. So walls has been installed. Um, the next step is to generate our dungeon. So for this, like I said, donjon.bin.sh, it's got all sorts of random generators from names to towns to an, an entire world. Um, it's just really great. For this one, I'll be using a cavernous dungeon. I kind of like cavernous dungeons. They have a lot of uh, versatility. Uh, this map here is actually a cavernous dungeon. Uh, I just used the aquatic theme and uh, inverted the uh, the walls and and floor so that you're actually walking on what was generated as walls here. But that's just an example. Uh, this dungeon looks good enough, so essentially we're just going to be uh, selecting all of the floor, and then uh, that'll serve as what can be visible to the players. Uh, so let's add a little bit of flavor here. Uh, I'll go with an infernal dungeon. So right now we're just switching it to sh make the map that the players will actually see. Um, this one is purely for generating the path, the black and white version. Alright, so while well, that's generating, let's uh, generate our path. And go here, just drag that right in. Um, if any of, so you need the layers and the toolbox visible to you for this. If you don't have the toolbox visible you just go to tools here and then toolbox if you don't have layers visible to you go to windows dockable dialogs and then layers I guess you could go straight to paths if you if you want to be super efficient uh, so from the toolbox kinda hard to see with all this other stuff but uh, go on down to fuzzy select tool and then just click once anywhere on the floor right click go to select going down to two path generating a path here um, typically it starts here on the layers uh, you just want to go on over to the paths dialog uh, right click that guy export path we'll just name it a uh, hell path because we made a little infernal dungeon all right so got our path got our dungeon uh, now we just need to Put it through this website put it in the description uh, this is where we actually parse our our dungeon and it'll create sort of the lines for the dynamic lighting on the dynamic lighting layer um, just choose your path here hell path parse and i think it did it uh, <laughs> i guess we'll see go back to our game that has the wall script you can see just verify it here launch it uh, 
All right, so here's a map. Let's make it a little bit bigger because, you know, 25 by 25. Let's, let's go like 40, 40. Seems good. Enable dyma dynamic lighting. I uh, like these two options. You know, you can't move outside of your vision. Sometimes players accidentally fling their character across the map. Um, and then enforce line of sight. Always good. Um, see that I use the grid here. Uh, one tip I have for using Donjon is to not have a grid because otherwise you're going to be either trying to calculate based on pixels or something but um, Donjon doesn't have it listed anywhere what their cell widths and heights are so better off just not having a grid and then letting Roll20's grid uh, do the work for you. Anyway, so we're going to drag in our map. I have a uh, add-on installed called 5e tools. Um, I think it gives me option for resize fit. Uh, otherwise, just, you just got to manually do it. But this will automatically refit it. Uh, so throw that on the map layer. Go to the map. You need to select the dungeon um, and then just, I think I already copy pasted, but just to be sure, do this, go into chat, paste all that, and I think I'm about to be done here. Wall's finished, so just to verify, go to dynamic lighting, you can see that it's all set up, uh, and in case you don't believe me. <laughs> Uh, let's make a human. And this guy seems good. And then, oop, that's my actual information. <laughs> um, let's see, humans. We'll give them 30 feet. Just be generous. Usually they're just totally blind, but uh, yeah, maybe a lit a torch. So another 30 feet, I think. Might be getting that wrong, but see the changes there. So you can see that uh, the dynamic lighting is automatically generated. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have a map, you could um, kind of break it down into just black and white to simplify it for the pathfinding. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, this works with any kind of map that you generate on Donjon as long as you go through the steps of, uh, you know, save a black and white one, create the path, upload it here, copy paste it in. Um, so you could have a gigantic dungeon with all the dynamic lighting just done for you, essentially. Uh, I think it's pretty dang cool. Thank you to the guy that made the wall script. This is just excellent. I mean, I was dreading the idea of having to do all of this, uh, uh, dynamic lighting drawing myself but uh, I think that's enough rambling I hope you guys make use of this and you know even just having the dynamic lighting with uh, nothing else on the map adds enough flavor for for me anyway you know you could be like well you walk in here and see this and that but just you know seeing having limited vision adds its own atmosphere uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and uh, have a good night, day, whatever. <laughs>